I think it's pretty cool to come and see your work when it's out of the studio because my studio is like there's a lot going on in the studio and see the work separately from all the mass in the studio it become it become a jewel the material I'm using is textile and and kaolin kaolin is a clay which but porcelain is made of but at the same time it's also material that is used for ritual practices in Suriname and also in Africa and especially West Africa to purify bodies and objects. I'm rubbing the clay on the surface of the, the textile and after carving the, the grid line of the textile over again to reveal the color on the neat. My direct connection to the maroon um, culture, to the maroon aesthetics do come actually from my mom, who, who was born uh, in the rainforest in Suriname, and that group of maroons called the Bakabusi. Most of the textiles uh, are used in specific ritual practices. So, for instance, the, the, the yellow-black for a forest, blue-white, is used for sky. Yeah, earth is also sort of like in, in the reddish blue. For me, it was important to use the Western historical context, modernism as a vehicle to come to my story, to my narratives, using materials that do come from ritual practices. I see the studio practice actually as a ritual practice. And, uh, and the works are actually leftovers from that act. So there is a piece of the studio, a piece of, of the textiles that has been traveling from, from Suriname to the Netherlands. I think in that way it might have a, a, a spiritual connection with the audience, if you want to get it. But if you don't want to go there, I think it's, you can also look at the piece in its aesthetic way by color, lines, rhythm.